Hey guys, so here, welcome back to some more Personified Royal. We need to wait for top of her knees, and I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing right now. It's currently a hot night right now. Evening, e oh yeah, I was. I think I was gonna actually talk to EY this time, wasn't I? Because again, Sochiro, uh, I could, but I wanted to see what this modification is all about with EY. And no one else wants to talk to me, so... Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, was able to get it up. I mean, I... But we can't actually advance yet, so, yeah. EY! Let's see what modifying does. It might help us in the future. Probably not. The shop's still open. You try to stop that. EY seems to be waiting for you at the shop. You want to go see him? Hold on, hold on. Now that I'm thinking about it, what is his freaking confidant? Do I have his persona? Because I no longer need the sun the chi or the chariot, so I can get rid of one of them. Uh, prosecutor? Counselor? Weapons dealer. Oh yeah, he's the hangman. I don't think I've ever gotten a... Uh, a hang persona, have I? I? I'm pretty sure I don't have one on me right now. Yeah, I don't. I need to get rid of Thunderbird. It's kind of sad because Thunderbird's my highest level persona. <laughs> Alright, so Thunderbird and Kodama can be fused into the Judge Anubis. Looks pretty tough. Hamon, Mudon, and Makoga. Medium instant kill bless, medium instant kill curse, and just bless AOE ab abilities in general. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Increase the chance of instant kills deathly illness attribute. Deathly illness. I mean, having a chance for an instant kill to actually work. Does sound nice, especially if you get to high chance abilities with this as well. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Strengthens magic skills, talking I'm a, I'm gonna go for deathly illness, why not? Abufu Dine, Mazyonga. Hmm, Nulling Ice would be kinda nice as well. I don't remember what the next boss does. I don't do I need nullification of ice? Probably, but I think I'm gonna go for the Mafrela just so we have someone else with nuke. Yeah, Mafrela. Its power will be nothing unusual. I know the power will be nothing unusual. <laughs> I see. All right, here's Judge Anubis. I am Anubis. I shall become a mask and bring help to your marvelous soul. <laughs> Who's the Judge Arcana? I don't know. Are we gonna- Oh, hey! I, I can get Heka Tonkeris. Wait, hold on. Which Looks one's this? Tough. Okay, hold on. I vaguely remember you needing this persona with a certain ability in one of the penal labors. I vaguely remember that. What ability it was you needed though for a penal labor? I don't know. I'm st I still I'm still nowhere near getting my other penal labor done. Oh hey, White Rider. Anyone uh, hangman? Any hang? I can get the Lamia now th now that I have Anubis. Pazuzu. Nope. There is no one here. Obviously, let's. La, la, la Chesis? La Chesis? However you say her name. Looks pretty tough. Might very well be for the, uh... Fortune Teller. I'm only guessing because it's Fortune. So yeah, either way, I no longer need the sun, so I can now work on... You change first, your mind. first and foremost, like do I even have a hang? These are the paths you have walked. Please tell me I have one hanged, uh, persona. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to stop fusing until I get a hanged. 
Oh, thank God. Oh, you up all. Is this what you want? Let's bring you out. This persona, then accept this Get persona. Cost heavy. Hanged persona. Done already? What? I want to go back. No slacking off. Ah. I fused Kodama, didn't I? Do I have a persona I don't need? Because I still need Star for Hifumi, man. I mean, unless you just don't get up with Hifumi for a while, but I'd like to max her out. Anyone else I don't need? I mean, if I max out on, I wouldn't need uh, to hang out with her anymore. I'll do it as it comes. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need another persona. Literally. The next day for Hifumi, but I'll do it when I need it. Go right away, even though we're literally right here. Okay, hurry up. All right, why? The guns are gonna melt. So here outside ain't normal. It's nice and cool inside the shop, though, huh? It's because we sell merchandise that can't take the heat. If it's too cold for you, lay her up. So you're here because you saw my message right. I want to work. There's a job I need you to do. Don't worry, it ain't that difficult. I'm sure you can handle it. I feel like I can move close with Hiwai thanks to the hangman persona, Hiwa Paul. I feel like my bond with Hiwai will grow stronger soon. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with Hiwai? Hang out with him. I'm gonna meet with a guy at the diner after this. I need you to sit close by. When I give you the signal, call me. Now the signal is when I call. Let's Got go. It. Come on, let's head over there. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. A, a din dinner, huh? I, don't, I thought only old farts came to places like this. You've really changed, Mune-san. <laughs> hey, don't knock this place. It's pretty decent and cheap, too. Ha, huh, this come from a guy who beat the crap out of 50 rival gang members. You don't need to exaggerate. Anyways, what did you want to talk about? Y yeah. Alright. How's Suda-san doing? Same as always. Why? What's up? Oh, nothing. I just saw him around the other day. Hold up. You didn't you two cut tights when you left the family? Why are you asking about him now? I mean, we were both young. I just figured it's about time we burned the hatchet. I can't just go up and talk to him, though. Oh, I get ya. You're still trying to uphold the old code of honor, huh? Okay, I'll tell him you want to meet up. Don't say stupid shit like no, that. No, I just want to end up in the same place at the same time. It's gotta look like a coincidence. In that case, Sh Sh Shibaura might work. You know, we're talking about redeveloping it. <laughs> Shibaura. <laughs> EY seems sick. <laughs> huh, you sick or something? Nah, it's just a cold. Hello, yeah, how's it going? What, your order's all wrong, my bad. I'll get back and take care of that straight away. Sorry. Sorry, I gotta run. Work shit, let's talk some other time, yeah. Mm, see ya. Hey. Don't hang up. Master's still on the phone, right? Just stay quiet so I can hear what he's saying. Sudasan, it's Masa. Why was asking about you? I did just like you told me, though. The hell are you looking at? I was daydreaming, sorry. Nothing in particular. Nah, it's nothing. Just some weird kid staring at me. Anyways, the Y probably heard about that deal of yours, and now he's trying to squeeze some cash out of you. Oh, sorry. No, it's... Yes, sorry. Yes, I understand. <sighs> A deal. Sounds like there's some weird stuff going down. What should I do now? How's your call? <laughs> You're all good for today. I'll have to thank you in person later. At any rate, I honestly wasn't expecting too much out of you. <laughs> but it looks like you're actually gonna be some use to me. I'll be counting on you, kid. Mm-hmm. feel like my bond with your Y is growing deeper. Just kind of short, sweet, and to the point. Don't ask questions. Just do what you're told, right. and you can get your stuff up with him. As far as I know. Good work today. Order yourself something nice as a reward. 
Oh, and bring me the receipt so I can pay later. you back for it. Well, later. I feel like helping you why with his work has honed my proficiency. Where was this when I needed to dodge the chalk in class? This would have been helpful. That's right, I wasn't even maxed out on my guts. Well, I'm still not really maxed out. I don't think I can take a bullet for him yet. I need to max out my guts to become indomitable or whatever the final one is. Hey, we're well, almost at 61, all right. Hmm, you seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! <laughs> Sorry we're late. Oh, we were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut <laughs> it! Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. What are you wearing? Oh, guys, she's wearing Futaba! it again. Shit freaked me out! Oh, hey, you Futaba? <laughs> yep, welcome. Why are you wearing that? Have it. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. Yes, it is. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Wait, you Stop don't lying. believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. He's a guy As magnet. a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, Damn. popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you do even it. listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I'm not getting I married anytime mind. soon. Can we please talk about something else? You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm, I'm relieved too. I think things yeah. should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Beep! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. I'll be there too. Don't push yourself. I'll be there too. <laughs> Won't you help me? Oh, okay. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. Hey, we we helped you get back to normal. It's fine. We'll be friends for life. Don't you worry. There's a fan of these that all these scandals too. What are you talking about? No, I don't think those had calling cards. You know, like changing people's hearts from the shadows. It's just me. Or have there been more posts from foreigners lately? Maybe I should make a request on that form too. Speaking of form, I gotta check and see if the quest is there again after this. Our popularity is going through the roof. You guys gotta hear this. This cute chick said she wants to go out with a phantom thief. But no, not you specifically, huh? Not, not surprised. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Why is she saying the same thing again? You don't gotta say it over text, too! <laughs> what in the world were you all doing today? Girl talk a little blind, uh, more like chatting and snacking, really. So she's completed her objective for the day. Next up is practicing going out in front of people. Wait, what? You'll be fine. Kai will be with you the whole time. 
If you want to ease you into it, so you're the first test who'll be helping out Della Blonde. Only Kai will be with you tomorrow. Good luck. You got it. Leave it to me. I'm worried. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Hey! You better make an effort tomorrow, Kai. Oh, I will. Anything for Futaba. But I didn't get to max the confidant okay. out for. <laughs> Uh, I had done so many confidants. I got like halfway through her confidant and then the game was over. I couldn't do it anymore. It was sad. You seem to be opening up a little. Maybe we're finally inching our way into the beach. Oh yeah, we are. You feel me? Uh, I should have preemptively just got my persona. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wasn't expecting to be that instant, but at the same time, can't do anything about it. So again, I want to max out the fortune teller. She, I don't know what she can give, but she might be really decent, possibly. Okay, so I've now got a Ketchy's persona and Hifumi's. I got rid of my Faith persona as well because I re re remember that I had maxed out Kasumi as well, so. I don't really need a faith persona anymore either. Would you help me in developing a new move? It should be a good experience for you as well. If you're free, please come to the church. You feel me? Seems to be waiting for you at the church. Right away? Okay, I'll be waiting. Alright, he for me. Let's do this. It's hot outside, but I'm clear headed it's, since it's co so cool inside here. I'd like you to teach you Shogi at different locations from time to time to change um, up the mood. Somewhere outside without too many people, there may not be many such places. Well, shall we play a match today? I feel like I can come close with Yifumi thanks to the star episode of Kodama. I don't think my bond with Yifumi will deepen just yet. It's sad, but true. Invite her. I see, that's an excellent I idea. I look forward to it. And I know it's sudden, but I'd like you to take me there. I might be able to think of a good move. Sucks that I can't get up with her yet. <laughs> There's a feeling like I can play Shogi at a different pace here. The scenery, the sounds, the smell. I'd l I'll be able to utilize all five of my senses. Perhaps I'll even come up with some new ideas. I'm glad to hear that. It's a good stimulator, huh? You use your senses in Shogi? Yes. A change in sensibility changes one's choice of moves. It may help you to improve as well. I've opened up my new opportunities through Shogi. You are like a Shogi piece filled with endless moves. I wonder what kind of person you will become. As matching all the possibilities is fun. Uh-huh. I'm starting to get the feeling that a new move will come to me. Well then. Well then, now that we feel refreshed, let us play fair and square. Well, like, my bond with Hifumi will grow stronger soon. Okay. Better. Let's end here you for today. here for today. Wait, she actually said it? I love. Oh yeah, I forgot to check my uh, points. Well, Today's day, we're having Futaba try and help out the cafe, right? This will be a stressful turn of events. It'll be fine. Let's believe in Futaba. You want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? Yes. But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? Experience is important. I'll be there for her. She requested this. Still, putting her out in front of customers is a little much. D don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well, in that case, uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? She's a little bit too close to the customers. Hey, are you all right? <laughs> the usual boss, extra strong. Sure thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. You okay? Don't freak out. Get a grip. Wee oui, wee! Oui. <laughs> she a part timer. Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural oh, you want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. 
Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. <gasps> Yo, here's your coffee. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. And here's your coffee, sir. Oh, thanks. <laughs> did you see? I did my job right! Take that thing off. It was all wrong. You did great. But it, uh, it protects me from the steam. <laughs> to think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. So yeah. do you want me to bring coffee to more customers? N mask off first. Oh, I'll think about it. Ah, I love your top, but it's fun. Did anyone around here share information about our real identities? Like how we do that? Why the question? I overheard someone in the city saying they were our acquaintance. Talk about false rumors. But hey, at least we're famous enough to have rumors about us. We might even break into the news online, or maybe TV. Yeah, if we even bigger. Yeah, if we get caught. Right. By the way, how did today go? I sent copy to customers. She did good. She was wearing a mask though. She did good. That's great for Tama Chan. Anyway. <clears throat> Anyways, you better get used to it fast. You can't be a phantom thief if you're scared of people. I'll try my best. We're on a roll! The time it's been re working really hard. And then there's for you, Tia. It's like he doesn't have a care in the world. <laughs> He's gonna get in trouble somewhere down the line if he keeps this up. Uh, yeah, he would. Man. Mask aside, I really think she's built up some confidence. Oh, uh, yeah, that she has. Okay, so it's evening right now, and I still can leave. That's a good thing. Yoshida is mad. Oh, hey, it's Sunday. I didn't even realize. Oh, he is there. I mean, I guess I can get some more propaganda going. You should sure come here a lot. I don't really mind it, but keep yourself in check, okay? I will. All right, oh yeah. Come on, aren't you my girlfriend right now? It's another hot summer this year. I bet we're gonna break some record temperatures. Although I'd be pretty happy to let those records stay unbroken. Still, this time of year is the best for a nice, refreshing cold one. <sighs> I can't gather any new in any news because of JV doubts that I'm dating a younger guy. Hey, sh should we try going on an actual date? Any beaches around here or something? Just kidding, you have some Phantom Thieves info for me again today, right? I feel like I can come closer with all your things to Devil Persona Lilim. I don't think my bond will increase just yet. Hang out. Yes, yeah, invite her to Seaside Park. Invite her. Oh, not bad. It's a bit far, but we can make it if we let's leave go, now. Let's go! Alright, to Operation Secret Lovers commence. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow, the ocean is so pretty. Not as pretty as you, Oya. Look, there's a cute little ship over there, and a factory over there. Oh, isn't this just wonderful using Ashikun? Going on a date is so much fun. Are you okay? Yeah, totally. You're a terrible actress. Are you okay? Get a clue, you moron. Act like my boyfriend, damn it. Hmm. And again, I don't think the chief would come all this way just to spy on me. Well, I told him you're my boyfriend, so I guess I'll use this date as evidence. So come on, act like a boyfriend, but don't forget to keep feeding me the info, too. God, what's happened to me? Taking a seaside stroll with one of my informants. I bet my mom would cry if I went back to the country. I feel like my bond with Oya will grow stronger soon. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome. See you later. I keep forgetting, dang it. He's so annoying. I wish the faith of these would take care of him. That would be awesome. Why not make a request on a form? That Akechi is all talk, isn't he? Why is he so hostile towards the Phantom Thieves? 
Wait, do the people want me to, want us to go get, uh, perform a change of heart on a catchy? Oh, that'd be interesting. Right, some people just can't read the mood. That really would be interesting if we could. 26th. Well then. Let's see, our plans for today are... Huh? Do we not have anything planned? We're about to, though. Well, I'm out shopping with Mikado. We'll head over there when we're done. Honestly, I wanted to bring Futaba along with us. We can't just take her into crowds like that, though. That'd be way too soon. Sometimes drastic measures are necessary. Such spiky words. You know, you'll need to do this someday, right? Actually, Queen's clothes have lots of spikes, too. They'd probably pierce my hand if I touched them. I have honestly considered that possibility as well. Not you too, Yusuke. Hey, this sounds fun. I want to join in. We're talking to Futaba, this doesn't involve you. Note, An is a call to Ryuji. Don't take notes on this. Anyway, look forward to us coming over. My heart's pounding. That's one of these scheming. Hey, you could be scheming any number of things. The heat wave might be getting to them. I'm so curious who the fan of these really are. Miss, miss, want me to steal your heart? Is that a pickup line? Don't make me laugh. Apparently, they're even famous overseas. Isn't that nuts? I wish I could join the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Don't we all? Today's the fourth day already. We getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. Not talking to us with the mask. No! Stop it! You're gonna blow my cheeks off! Man, those girls are late. What do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello. Please excuse us. Speaking of... Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. You, looking, you trying to get a new outfit for what? Futaba? A swimsuit, of course. For Futaba-chan. Oh, that's kind of outfit. <laughs> you don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right now, then. No, 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 now? <laughs> you can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but, uh, so does that mean the guys uh, have to leave, right? You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? Yep. Wow, I just had to leave. I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go. It's on. What the? This barely covers anything. That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Yeah. Push. Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. <laughs> there. Oh boy. Good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. They're Filling having each other them up. try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Futaba in his swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask <laughs> Makoto about it. <laughs> Let's just say that there's probably a lot of that art already in a lot of places on the internet. Sounds great. You're such a perv. Go for it, Ryuji. <laughs> Me? I humbly request you do so as well. Hell no! You guys are such children. What's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. What? Well, it seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All I, didn't mean side, it, but... I think it looks Let's really see. great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. 
She might be some trouble. But I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. Oh, she will. Don't worry. I'll take good care of Futaba. We've got swimsuits. We're totally ready to hit the beach. All that's left is for Futaba to prepare herself mentally. I can do this. I can. I think. Maybe. So you're not confident. Shut up, Inai. Ah, it's finally starting to feel like summer vacation. Still, I've not been thinking about some things now that matters have calmed down a little more. Like what? The psychotic breakdowns, cognitive science, and the one in the black mask. I wonder who they are. I wonder what they want. They're dangerous either way. Right, we'll need to proceed with extreme caution going forward. That said, we don't have enough information right now. We'll need to investigate more. I'll help out too. Can we talk about this some other time? I'm so damn sleepy. Okay, good night then. Fudama chan, good luck tomorrow too. Wait, what are we doing tomorrow? Nice! Chief had some high expectations of us. We need to work harder to help Futaba make some good memories. Oh, we will. Okay, oh yeah. A little bit forward, aren't you? Wanting some more information? I was probably going on another date first. Then I'll decide. But, seeing as how you're the only one I can do this with, and it's evening, right? Eh, I mean, I could work, but obviously, if I'm gonna max out her stuff, I might as well do it now. Alright, oh yeah. I know, you have something on the Phantom Thieves. Come here, let's chat. I feel like I can be close with Oya, thanks to the Devil Persona Lily. I feel like my bond with will go stronger soon. So what are you going to do? Are you provide me with some information tonight? Head over immediately. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna drink all the booze here. Uh, what's I gotta do with me? I'm a minor, I can't drink. <laughs> hey, it's my number one guy. What kind of news you got for me? I'll smack you if it's not good enough. Hey, are you sure you're okay? <laughs> what do you mean? You're worried about me, Lala chan? You're usually kinda. <laughs> Man, if I haven't seen her drink this much in forever. What? I haven't been drinking at all. I'm totally not drunk. <laughs> Did something bad happen? Having trouble at work? Oh, you're sharp, kid. The truth is, uh, my quota got doubled. It's, it's gonna take like four times as much work to get that much done, though. It's shackling me down, so I don't have, won't have time for anything else. Uh, my chief's such a shithead. He must not like you. Did he find out? Not re real sure, but that bastard probably knows something's up. Damn it. Before this, I was starting to feel like a real journalist again. The rest of investigating Kyo's case, uncovering dark secrets hidden away by a corrupt society. But now it's going to be impossible to find my investigations with this quota. That doesn't sound good. Of course it's not good, but what am I supposed to do? They'll fire me if I can't reach my quarter. Hey, Lala-chan. And they fire me. Can I live here? That still won't help my investigation, though. Incident over a year old, and the authorities aren't doing shit. Huh? Maybe Kyle really was the true culprit. If you have any uh, evidence of that, you should trust in her. That goes without saying. I mean, if I don't, who will? Watch your temper. <sighs> uh, what am I doing? I mean, I'm the one who dragged Kyo into politics. It's my fault this ended up happening to her. You know, she set out in book publishing, mostly taking photos of nature and wild animals. She was a genius behind the camera, though. That's why I thought she'd make the perfect partner for me. Hey, you can't blame yourself. Kyo Chan was just set on exposing the evils of society. Yes, you were. Isn't that right? Shit. But, but if I didn't get her involved in the first place... Damn it, that incident is all my fault. That's why I've got to get to the bottom of it. That's the spirit. You're a great journalist. What about your quota? Thanks. If I gave up now, I'd just be disgracing that reputation, right? I know. It's weird how calm I get when I'm talking to you. It's almost like you actually understand me. <laughs> because I do. Sorry. Oh, and I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. The stress must have gotten to me. 
It's just all this qu quarter business is driving me crazy. I'm gonna have to put all my focus on that for now. I'll still be counting on you for Phantom Thieves stories, though, as long as you're up for it. I feel like Oya is really starting to rely on me. Hell yeah! Thank you, Sixer! Four more to go, and right. she's maxed. Then I don't need the Devil Arcana anymore. I think I'm gonna have to ease off my investigation for a while, too. I don't need any more eyes on me. But I might be able to ask some of my co-workers for help. Journalists will do anything for a scoop. Now then, I'll take any tidbits you have for me today. <laughs> I love you. Hope you don't mind if I get back to drinking, though. This whole conversation really sobered me up. Meh. It's getting late. I'll see you later. You mean you'll call me, right? Hey, kid. Thanks for spilling on the Phantom Thieves earlier. If I'm being serious, I mean genuinely actually serious. I really appreciate you. I'm only able to meet my insane quota because of the info you gave me on the Phantom Thieves. Glad to hear that. Don't work yourself to death. I'll dig up some more for you. Yeah, keep it coming. You're seriously a dependable kid. But yeah, for now, guess I'll leave the intel gathering to my partner in crime. I gotta focus on meeting my quota. I'll never give up on my own investigation. Okay, let's call it a day. Looking forward to your next big scoop. See you later, Oya. I keep forgetting to check and see if it's okay for me to continue. Or if I have to go back and repeat the day and go to Mementos. So what should we do today? Let's see. Want to eat together? You know, like how we had Hot Pot that one time. That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra squad friendships. I, I can do that. Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelet with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. Can you eat all that? Do you have the money? <laughs> Of course I can. There is no doubt in my mind. Dude, you're missing the point here. We're supposed to be helping Futaba, not stuffing our faces. I want the same. Extra large. All right. Uh, I ate loads. Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed. Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. You better not be hitting on me. How rude. <laughs> Sojiro, help me! Will you stop that? So does this mean our training's going good? <laughs> it's not a failure. I think so. Let's go with that then. Hey, let me make you guys some after meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want iced cocoa! You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? Yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a lunch this lively. Mm -hmm. It's lots of fun. There we go. We're getting there. Well, are we make it in time for the beach? That's up to Futaba. Hey, what do you think we should do about the beach trip? Does it look like she can go soon? Well, she has started to talk a lot more. She's made great progress compared to how she was at the beginning. Thoughts, Futaba. Will you be able to do this tomorrow, perhaps? Tomorrow? That's too soon. I want to prepare myself. Power through. Don't force it. What is good for you? I think I can do it if I get a little more time. It should be good if it's the day after tomorrow. Wow. A little bit more. Okay. I think. Well, we'll go the day after tomorrow with it. Just let us know if you aren't up for it, oh, Futaba, okay. It's alright, I can do this. Looks like we know when we'll actually finish up now. The beach is finally within reach. Yes, it is. Now I know what what this is going to be. Uh, it's going to be a uh, beach episode, alright. You get to see the Minna swimsuits. Perfect episode. Okay. Perfect thumbnail as well. Although th th that would technically be a spoiler of a thumbnail, so I can't really use it. <sighs> so sad. Well, I mean, I could. I might. Well, well, we made it this far. Let's see how tomorrow goes. Ifumi? And EY. Alright. 
Like you flew me? Let's do this. What's your plan for today? I was hoping we could play a match. Will you join me? I'll instruct you, of course. I feel like I can become close with you, Fumi, thanks to the star persona Kodama. I feel like my bond with you, Fumi, will grow stronger soon. Now, what are you thinking? Do you want to hang out with you, Fumi? Head over immediately. Thank you very much. I will meet you at the chest then. Check. Aha! Uh -huh. You have been defeated. The battlefield is mine. The ultimate Togo kingdom is complete. All my pieces have been taken. Yufumi has left me utterly defeated. But to think, you could stay standing after being struck by my silver infinite infinity sword. You've improved, considering that you enjoyed the climbing silver so early in the match. The determination I'm sensing from you is a real inspiration. I must think of a new move. I'm afraid you'll surpass me one day if, you, if I don't start, stay sharp. Actually... The exhibition match against the pro my mother was talking about has been confirmed. He is a very famous shogi player. I'm aiming to be the first woman to reach the pro ranking league. I'm sure it will draw a lot of attention, especially after that article. However, I don't intend to lose. It's my chance to display my true skills. I confess, I'm a bit scared though. It's almost a relief. Don't let you go down. It may come down to luck. I won't. Uh, I'm gonna reload that. My opponent is, uh, is ranked much higher than I am, so I won't t take him lightly. To be honest, I'm not sure how well my skills will hold up against a true professional. All right. I'm sick of being treated like an idol. I have to show them what I'm made of. Give it your all. I believe in you. Thank you. Eh, yeah, maybe I don't. So, um, there's a move I would l w like to try out. Would you like to play another match? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Strategically place your pieces in the enemy zone to increase your chances of getting gold. You shouldn't sure use that tactic in your next match for today. Try and steal the pieces you want from me. Feel Hifumi's trust in me growing. Narikin! Earn double money if a battle is won in one turn after the successful ambush? Ah. Wait, one in one turn after a successful ambush. So we literally have to one-shot the enemies? Well, actually, if we use their weaknesses against them, and then we do an all-out attack, that's technically one turn. As long as they don't get a turn to attack, that's one turn. Okay, double money, that'd be nice. Wait, so if we can take money from them, like, like if we uh, force them to pay us money so they can live, would we get double that money as well or no? All right. As it just says after a battle is won, extorting them for cash technically is winning. Well then, let's begin the match. I hear my place this golden mantle upon your shoulders, don it with pride. I'll start. Come lightning, metamorphosis, gold promotion. I love it. <laughs> Feeling like playing Shogi with Hifumi has helped sharpen my knowledge. I'm not gonna get past Encyclopedic anytime soon. Thank soon, you for am I? today. You're very welcome, Hifumi. Thank you for teaching me Narikin. That was it, right? I keep forgetting to check, man. Yeah, dang it. Okay. It's one more day to go. Tomorrow we hit the beach. Hey, are you there? Sorry, but I need your help with the dishes. Help with the dishes? Is Futaba here too? That means we are not only helping out there at the cafe, but we're also babysitting Futaba today too. Well, the faster we get started, the faster we'll finish. You want anything, Futaba? Orange juice, 100% natural. That reminds me, you're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun. Yeah. And make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, <laughs> huh? 
Gonna play with some fireworks at the beach Hello. too? Oh hey, Akechi. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're Huh? You know each other? Wait, yeah. aren't you I'm Akechi. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai san recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. What'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. <laughs> he looks so pissed. <laughs> it seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. It's not just here. That's surprising. Wow. <sighs> Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. What's the matter? You're popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Why not? Hmm, this is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly yeah. jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. I agree, I have no words for you. I'm just, it's just a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was hoping I get I some points that for that. I believe that fate brings it. people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. Yay. You know, Akechi, that annoying dude. I always change the channel when I see him. All he ever does is nitpick. There's no way the fan of these are the bad guys. He's so desperate, it's kind of lame. <laughs> I love this. Ah, it's great. Come out, try you now. I'm outside of the blood. All right. I want to light fireworks. Can we? I bought some. Went by yourself? Did you go with Morgana? Mm hmm. I ran into Mona on the way back, though. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, nice. she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put up my cigarette yet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <laughs> hey, oh the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! <laughs> right. It's just be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No! 
me and Lake it walk away, Morgana. You didn't have to stay in the smoke. Does uh, so she think I'm some kind of toy? Maybe. Alright, we're going to the beach tomorrow. I've been anticipating this for so long. I'll be interesting care for Tama Yukai. Alright, I'm worried. I'll be good on my own, you know. I only ask that you try not to get separated from each other in the crowd, okay? No worries. I've already made preparations for when it happens. That don't make me feel better. Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo, let alone watching over someone else. Mm -hmm. Still, going to enjoy the beach. We can finally have a good time. That we can. But me and we're also getting closer to our next palace. Although that actually is quite a few days off. Still having this last though. So no one specifically asked for me today. But we can go to EY. Ifumi is gone. Akechi is not here. Oh crap, I can't actually talk to Akechi yet. Alrighty, why I guess? Because Sojuro is not here. Why? Uh, next month's future product chairs for the world championship. It's a clenched fist. I didn't mean to go to the ad stand, but sure. <laughs> Everyone has a secret they don't want anyone to know. Really use a PC, because I'd be in trouble if it got hacked. So what do you want today? I want to work. Alright, I'll tell you about the shop. It's a piece of cake for a gun enthusiast like you, right? I feel like I'm moving close with you, why? Alright. Hang out. <laughs> If you get considered an employee, you won't seem suspicious coming in and out of the shop, right? If you get what I'm saying, bring the goods to the back. Hey. Hurry up. I learned this stuff, kid. You, you've got to be able to start looking like a normal employee. I'm supposed to be running an honorable business here, you know. Though honestly, the customers have been running a little thin lately. Some guy on the internet's been claiming all my goods are knockoffs. But once you've got a bad rap like that, it's real tough to shake it. I know how that feels. Is it seriously that hard? <laughs> a kid like you. You're going through something similar. I guess you wouldn't be doing any of this if you weren't, huh? Don't give me any details, though. I don't want to know. That's right. Anyways, I should probably fill you in on what's going on here since you'll be helping me out. I'd bet anything the guy behind that group is Suda. You remember his name from the diner, yeah. Truth is, he's the second in command of the Hashiba clan. The same clan I was in, back when I was part of the Yakuza. I always knew you were, thug. Oh, I, uh, have to go. Ya yakuza You've <laughs> 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 got some nerve. Anyway, Zuda was my sworn brother back in the clan. I got some unsavory business going down with him now, though. Problem is, I'm with a known quantity in the underworld. One bad step and I'd have guys crawling all over me. That's why I've got you around. You look normal, sure, but you got some balls, kid. Make sure you perfect... You perfect for snooping on Su Suda. You look normal, sure, but you got balls, kid. Makes you perfect for snooping on Suda. <laughs> Hope I ain't scaring you off with all this talk. Not really. No, I like that stuff. We made a deal, didn't we? <laughs> idiot, idiot. But you know, I've got a bit of a soft spot for idiots like you. Anyways, you get the gist of what's going on now, yeah. You'll be working with that in mind. I expect a lot you from should you, be kid. Grateful. Oh, and I'll add to the special menu to thank you for getting that info for me the other day. I feel like my bounty wire is going even deeper. Now we can customize our gun. Camo customization allows you to customize camouflage on your gun, which can inflict ailments. All right. All right. Hello. What's the meaning of this? Huh. I thought I told you to stop coming around here. But... Is that one of your customers? Why are you being so mean? <sighs> you keep your mouth shut. This ain't none of your business. Let's go home and study Kauru. You've got entrance exams come up of a member. Okay. I guess I'll be going then. Yeah. That's Kauru, my son. He's always asking me if he can help out here. 
always worried about what I'm getting up to. <sighs> but I probably shouldn't be telling a kid like you about this. Well, you can head home for today. Nice work, kid. I feel like we're helping you why with this work is home my proficiency. We'll eventually get proficiency, Max. Eventually. Don't know when. Later. But yeah, why is kind of easy to, uh... Please? Oh, no, the red numbers is done. The problem will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. I won't leave her side. Don't worry. I'll fight them off. Good. As long as you understand. I'll be counting on you. But what if I'm that guy <laughs> that hits hey, on her? Hey, can we go already? <laughs> Are you sure you'll be all right? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. I kind of question why I have Mona in my bag. Here we go, cinematic. This is what I'm talking about. Come on, you can do it. People here. Whoops. Are you okay, Futaba? I don't know why, but when I when I see a dialogue, I just instantly try to do it myself at that point. Oh, it's so hot. And now for the regularly scheduled programming of me not interrupting. I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, yeah. what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. Us guys gotta have some fun. Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? 
<sighs> they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But hey, I'm close to you, Liz. Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. Don't worry, Ryuji. We'll switch when we're done. Don't Keep an worry. eye on our stuff for us. There's a lot of beach babes banana. around here that we could Run, potentially mingle back. with, right? It's dangerous if you run around like that. Here comes it. I don't get how Show us your skills, we, are. we risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't Keep we be having more down. good times in reality, too? You have a point. You're full of yourself. I don't care. You have a point. Right? Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. An and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey. How do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal you know what. Mizuki. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta steal their swimsuits, all right? <laughs> oh, it's On made fun of us and all? Let's show her what we're really made of. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all Don't over us considering us, the vibes we give off. Very well, let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. That's gonna be so awkward. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! You're a cat right now! You can't date? Oh no. I was kidding. Kind of. It's her boyfriend! Scenery looks nice. Too bad that uh, they have no skills at all, apparently, with women. Not that I'm any better, but still. Uh, I don't know. The ocean just looks kind of bland to me. Feel better. Just give up. <laughs> don't say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going at it as a team, right? That's the problem. We're going on a team, not solo. Here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? Oh, oh no! MG. No! It's the golden it's him. boy himself! It's those two guys. <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? <laughs> you? <laughs> oh no. What are you guys doing here? Sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that <laughs> chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. <laughs> just an hour to the go three hours job. at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Uh, we gotta go. Sorry. Was it something I said? Oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. I wanted to leave Ryuji there. That would have been funny. No more makeovers. By the so way, they had you go to a makeover last time? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. 
Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time An entered my gaze. Good for you. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for All right, a we nice step cruise in. on our boat? There's going to be a party, too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so we were serious about being here with friends. Yes, That's they were. we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? Far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Nice. Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. <sighs> what creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. They did well to hold them off. They got lucky. To be honest, I was nearly at my wit's end. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand! I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. Chance to give him boobs. We should probably start heading home. Man, I don't want to end yet. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba, we're going home. Stop standing around and help us. What's up? You know, all this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. I'd be a repeat of that. Uh, I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful yeah. hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. 
That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You were our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves, I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us it's now? Fine. Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already, You're already one, of us. one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Obviously, it's okay. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she Maybe. was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's code name? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case, Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. <laughs> Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's code name? Glasses. Pharaoh. Internet. Oh my god. Why doesn't it give me the actual choice for her? Internet is stupid, Pharaoh. All three of these choices are stupid, man. Pharaoh. I'll curse you. Do it. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great. And Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. 
To think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. Yes. The incident with Medjed seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. Uh-huh, you gonna try to make the popularity come crashing down? We're on a high rise and we hey. won't stop. You're back. How'd it go with Futaba? I hear you've been keeping her company for the past few days. Thanks. You're welcome. Please don't let there be a crossword puzzle, man. A criminal who uses the metaphors to carry out their crimes. This is no longer a matter we can ignore. Especially because they might be the one who killed Futaba's mom. To be honest, I ought to consider the idea that they might be behind the... the behind only the rumored psychotic breakdowns. I don't know why I couldn't read that correctly. But now it appears as though this person is killing people as well. Technically, they're making people have mental shutdowns, which then cause them to die. That's what happens when you kill someone shadow, yeah. <laughs> but we weren't worried about it back with the Kamashita and Madarami, remember? They're cutting breakdowns and mental shutdowns. It makes sense if the, if the same person was behind them. The news never talks about the victims dying, so people only know about the breakdowns. This shit's really, seriously a case. If that's for real, whoever's doing it is some kind of assassin. I'm gonna beat the crap out of them. I would suggest we be more cautious going forward as well. We still don't know much of, even about our metaphors now. That is true. I wonder why that thing exists. There was a man in my dream. <laughs> Who has a really, really large nose. I don't know. It would be, still be difficult for me to explain about Igor. Uh huh. What if that criminal is using the app too? Futaba, this seems like your area of expertise. Do you know anything about it? No, I'd never even heard of it before. I mean, it's not really even an app. It's more like a mysterious app-like thing. I see. It's okay, though. I might not know much about the app, but I can still navigate you guys on the path to victory. I'll guide you to whatever criminal you're looking for. <laughs> you can rely on me. Awesome, dude. You're way more reliable than Mona. Damn it, Ryuji. <laughs> you always find the worst possible things to say. I love it. Hey, Izanashi, you live in Yongin, right? You know about the old movie theater there? Well, the old couple that runs it is apparently getting threatened by late speculators. They're trying to save the theaters in a way of some building they want to put up. We can't just let them force those people out, right? Let's tear that baby down! I feel bad for them. <laughs> Right. That old couple is so afraid of their threats that they don't even want to open a theater. Anyway, our target is a guy named Yasuo y Yochi. Let's drive him off and save that old couple. Mm. There might be have been a change in mementos because of all the midget stuff. If you want to go, now would be the right time. Let's discuss with everyone at the hideout. Yes, now would technically be the right time. Technically. The quests? The lovesick cyberstalking girl is still available. So we are still A-OK -okay with this and I don't need to go back before we did the beach episode to then do a mementos episode. Oh boy. Well, uh, let's slowly but surely walk over here. No crossword. Please no crossword. Oh, thank God. The crossword's gonna be tomorrow though. Guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least someday in the future, close enough. We just talked about it, but... And then we just finished talking about it, but... Oh, nice! That's a fine image right there. Here's a photo I took today. Well, I'm in there too. You look like you're having fun, Futaba. It's a pretty good camera woman. Is this what it's like to get feel photogenic? You're not used to looking good in pictures, it certainly is a fine shot. I get you. Indeed, this picture has even captured all the architectural grandeur of my sandcastle. 
I'll take your word for it, man. So can I zoom in on said image? Sadly, I cannot. But hey, again, this does look like a fantastic image. I, w I was too busy looking at An, Makoto, and Futaba that I didn't even see him in the back. I was wondering what he meant by a sandcastle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She very did. She really did get to capture his uh, Saint Castle in there. Nice. So, oh, he is thirsty, you guys. All right. We gotta quench this cougar's thirst. Did I just say that? Yes, I did. Thunder. He threw me. Can go up. Oh, you cannot. Well, either way. With that, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, where we'll be going with Hifumi, not Thirsty Oya. And then... We'll finally be going back to school, which means I need to crack out my phone again. Crack out, break out. Yeah. My phone again for the freaking answers for the quizzes. Again, I'll take a guess, but... I don't know if my guesses are gonna be spot on anymore. And we can t turn in the uh, book that we've had over summer break. Sad that it's already over. But hey, we're getting close to uh, a certain little uh, expenditure with the school. We're almost there. I don't know how. Yeah, yeah. It, it might actually be really early. We might even get the beginning of it in the next episode if I do enough. Probably won't, but we might. So yeah, till then, see you guys later.